right, guys, here we are, episode three, Long Road Ahead. Last episode got intense. It, shit got real last episode, just further proves that big groups is just not a good idea. But here we are, episode three, Long Road Ahead. Let's see what this game is going to be about. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe for my social media links down below. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. All right, here we are. Who's running? Oh, shit. Who in trouble now? We hunting something. Episode three, long road ahead. Are we back at the pharmacy. Looks like this is our lucky day. If I go smooth, I don't like it. Mm, maybe. Uh, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah. Well, the less I see, the happier I am. So we doing hunting for food. Did we take something from that car last episode? Now I hope Kenny got my back this episode. Oh, man. Yeah, the guy he got shot. Your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp, considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. We should go. Motel's run its course. It's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's mm. dug in. Hey, you'll be back at the pharmacist. Is Doug's body still out there? Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. You gonna be able to climb now? Ain't you injured? Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. Of course. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Climb on something. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. You're not gonna use that to climb up? Hello? We can't try. Of course this ain't gonna work. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way out. We better get a move on. All right then. Uh, anything over here? There's no safe way through that mess. I want to pull see Doug's body over here. Y'all remember uh, Doug from last episode? Well, episode one. Mm. Ugh! Wow, really, it's not gonna work. Hmm. Maybe we go inside and go in through the back. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. Oh, is my dead brother's body still over there? Huh. Hmm. He's saying, hmm, like, you know, like, tell me what it is. Huh. <laughs> uh. What is that, a helicopter? What you doing, Lee? So much for the military. <sighs> Let me find out. Oh, yeah, we can climb up here. Kenny, come on. <sighs> ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. <sighs> Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. Or push the car. I don't know. Um, what haven't I checked? Can we get like a, a board or something? Like a plank? Lily's not doing so good, huh? Hmm. We started her dad. She'll be fine. I mean, it's not good. It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. I mean, what you expect her to do? I mean, you just killed her dad. 
Well, add it to his death. Like, right in front of her, too. And not to mention, right in front of Clem. Now what? Pull the car? Ah. I hope shit don't get intense this episode. I'm scared. The girl's still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I have an ex. I hope not. I wouldn't blame her. What do you think? Christ. I've heard your opinion. What's done is done. We just fucked up somebody else's life. Sitting on this shit. Oh, stop cussing. <laughs> Alright, let's climb. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Who? Really? Sean? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. You know, it was a scary situation for him, of it course. Was a scary situation for him. Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. Give me your hand. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. He's not gonna get me. Shit. Oh, that caused a lot of noise. Shit. Nice one. What the hell happened? You okay? Jesus. You okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. <laughs> now get off here. What the hell was that? Oh, don't bring that mess over here. Somebody help me! Oh God! Oh God! What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't, I don't think so. You gonna drop him over here? The girl might need help. It's a girl. She can kill, get us killed. It's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. Too late. Can't help her. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this mess. I don't know where he are. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Well, what happens if they finish eating her up? I wouldn't shoot. Uh. Uh. Leave her. Fuck, man. You're not hitting anything. I said leave her. Jesus. Why did they give me like mouse control options? The hell I'm using the controller. Let's go. She'll keep me busy. Where is <laughs> I'm already messing up. Let's start it. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh, oh. That sounds horrible. Now hurry up, let's get our stuff. The alarm ain't gonna go off, is it this time, right? Last time, last time it went off. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear <laughs> down here and then we gotta go. Alright, let's go, let's do this. Okay, get that. Food for Clem, yes. Yes, medicine. I don't know what that is, but let's get it. Come on. Alright, that's first. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. What is this? Medicine? Oh, what the hell? She's gone. There's not much time now. Oh shit. Open that up. Food, get the food. You can eat good tonight, whatever this is. What is this? Chocolate? Come on, get it. Get out. All right, more. Over here. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Come on. Uh, over here. Oh, damn, we almost out of time. Come on, come on, come on. I think that's everything. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! die for nothing then. Up and over. Come on, let's get out of here. Still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, oh no! Oh, come on! Why is this stopping? Why is this stopping? Somebody help! Kenny! Help! What 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 are you doing? What the hell? Kenny! Really? What the fuck? Get it! 
All right. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What the fuck was that, um, Kenny? Oh, shit. Uh, get away from me! Punch! Yes! Punch him again! Again! Come on. He got the helmet on. <laughs> Let's go to get the hell up out of here. What the fuck was that? They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? <sighs> Jesus, this is. Ooh, Kenny, you starting to get on my nerves. Cause what the fuck was that? You had a gun. You didn't shoot. Ugh. Back at the motel. Great. That arrows? What the hell happened out here? Why are you looking at him like that? Who's she talking to? You're back. Finn found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Oh, Lord. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Mm. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. <laughs> nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Here we go. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it Space takes to keep everyone kid. safe. We're already safe. We do whatever best Take for the kids. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Here we go. Can it, Carly? <laughs> people around. This gotta I'm stop. Be worse. Somebody needs to make executive decisions. We're strongest for the group, together. Though, and I don't think you're capable. Of We're strongest together. <laughs> Cut them off. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides. Damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We ought to protect you. We need that plenty of food at the station. Me, we deal with this no, shit as it comes. Because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want I want to leave a piece of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Oh shit. Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. We just let her suffer. The guy we needed was a mistake. She was dead anyway. I mean, she technically was. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. We all turn Look, to turn against each other. Bacon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. Stealing? That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Who's stealing from us? Who's out here? Them bandits from last episode? 
After Kenny, she'll get over it. Ooh. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. Do you understand, Ken? All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! <laughs> so who's stealing? Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Oh, well, I think Lord. we did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Mm. Huh. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. Is she touching on me? The way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Okay. I sent some love in this episode. <laughs> she wants to go up in that hotel. <laughs> Oh Lord! All right then, Lee, Lee, we might Lee gonna get some action up in this game. So, what we do? Let's see about this um stealing stuff. What the hell? You all right? I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? <laughs> You come in on here and you have to chill out and follow up on the stolen items. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going no, on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, mm -hmm. one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. You haven't been sleeping. Paranoia isn't helping. For real? Who? What you got for real? Me? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count. Oh, and it's Lord. fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I <laughs> want you to poke around. Who are we doing? Interrogate everybody? What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Uh oh. Okay. Um. Seems like you're manufacturing this from nothing. Prove me wrong. I'd really appreciate it. Okay. Let's go poke around and start interrogating people for a no reason. Mystery. What the hell where you come from? Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. <laughs> can I help? What did I just say? You're Ooh. the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. Are you That's really gonna do this? I know who it is. Fine. You can help. Don't tell anyone. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Look around. Uh, let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. <laughs> we ain't heard much from Duck last episode, right? All right, let's go talk to Carly first. She told us she wanted to talk to us. Let's do what she wants. Talk to Lily yet? Yep. Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. So what you want? What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? Uh, I think about you too. <laughs> think about you too. <laughs> <laughs> Our group is small. You're small. Oh! <laughs> You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, 
But think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Forget it. It's a lifetime ago. You're probably right. I guess. Right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed. And telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. But who are they gonna hear it from, though? So you'll do it then? Yeah. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. You let me regret this. Oh. <laughs> don't call me small. Oh. Oh. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, let's go to the hotel room. <laughs> Do you know anything about the flashlight? Do you feel safe here? Do you think people hear about me? It's ready to, ready to hear about me. Do yeah. you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Hmm... You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them, but everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. The flashlight? Do you know anything about it? Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. <laughs> and the batteries might be in backwards. <laughs> It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. <laughs> any thoughts about Lily? Uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. All right, let's go. Let's check on Clem. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have answered that first. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Oh. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> the smile. <laughs> hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Uh, did tell you something? What you doing there? Let's tell Clint, Clem. I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. I'm a killer. <laughs> I'm going to prison the day I met you. You know I killed someone, right? The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car. And I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now. I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Uh, at least I didn't tell I was a full-blown killer. Mm -hmm. uh, what you doing? What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um... Kinda. Now that's really something. I'll make one for you too. Oh. Do you like it Do here? Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. So Carly came up there to tell me she wanted to talk to me. Just to tell me I need to tell people I'm a criminal? I thought we were going to get a little bit of action. I guess not. Mm -mm. Alright, so that's Carly. Let's check on them. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. They're in that airplane Just loud. Just having a little spaz. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? I'm good. <laughs> Can you guys second... Mm. Let's Do you guys know anything first. about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. 
I forgot though. I hope that's not an airplane or a lawnmower. The hell? Okay, Kenny, let's talk. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? Oh boy. He probably gonna let us go in the RV with him now. It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I went to jail. I killed somebody. Uh. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. Hey, Carl. No shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh. No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? Hopefully no. not. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, Jesus. Oh, but he appreciates my honesty. Hi, okay. Let's talk, Katya. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Since when Kenny got all the power about a boat? I was on the way to prison. I've killed. <laughs> I was, uh, Let's ease our way into it. On my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife. Uh, That's enough. Oh. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. Uh, no. It doesn't matter. Larry died. Did you kill him? Who? He didn't tell you. Nobody tells me anything. How long has everybody else known about you? They haven't. Well, thanks. I'm not happy to hear it, but thanks. That's something your husband should be telling you, not me. Go and ask him yourself. Anyway, we talked to them too. We talked to Carl. We talked to Clem. Does talking to him count? He wasn't here long enough. But we're going to ask him about the flashlight. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Why are you getting so defensive? Okay then. Should telling him count? Like, does it really matter about his opinion? Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, he got it running. Oh, okay, so he can leave anytime he wants then. Cool. And then, let's tell Lily. Where's Lily at again? Where's Lily? I don't know. Is she over here? No, she's over here. Let's go tell Lily. Should I tell Ben? Does it really matter? Hey. Find anything? I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. I'm a killer. <laughs> I was sent to prison before this. I always say the opposite of what I'm going to say. Shit. What? Dad said there was something about you. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, that's true. And I'm sorry. He treated you like shit. Knew who you were and you tried to save his life. The last thing you need to do is apologize. I like Lily. <laughs> Thank you. You killed a guy. So what? I bet he was a dick. Well, it, it ruined my life. Good thing everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter, huh? Misery loves company. So about this flashlight. Oh, we leaving? Well, okay. We need to, um... I'm just going to tell Ben, because uh, I don't know. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down to make it much? You know about Lily? Did you tell you hey, something? Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? 
I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was convicted of murder. I was on my way to prison for this. On my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What um were you in for? Murder. It's not important. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I uh I Ben, relax. Okay. I mean, does it really matter now? Cause shit's gone down down since then, like where's the the glass caught you with time about? There's some broken glass on the ground there. Where's Duck? Ain't he supposed to be helping me? X marks the spot. Who the hell X? What? Duck. Oh, there he is. A clue. <laughs> Me. What do you think it is? Somebody marked our territory. Anything. Maybe it's a sign. He might be onto something. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Let's go talk to Duck and see what he got. Should we tell Duck I'm a killer? Does it really matter? I hope y'all ain't trying to insinuate. That Clem did some. She was talking to somebody on the um walkie talkie earlier. She shut that down real quick. Um Hmm. Uh, where'd he go? I guess he left. There's the chalk right there on the ground. Do we move it? Or not? Okay, cool. What's over here? Nothing. Um. I guess I want to talk to Clem, but hold on. I gotta go upstairs? You know anything? You have any, um, I talked to Kenny. Talk to Kenny about who I am. And? I don't know. Feels like I just gave him ammo if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a head count. Ah. Uh, well, don't worry. Don't worry. I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start. Uh, now. You don't let me say anything. And I talked to Clem. I talked to Clementine about And things. Lily and How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I told Ben. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? <laughs> Funny you picked him. That's what no I risk. said. Look at him. Looking I at take me. it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. Yeah, totally. I told Lily. Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. She was all right, though. Well, you're about all she's got left. <clears throat> Do you have any uh, chalk I can borrow? What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I? I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Oh! Shit, hotel room four? See you soon. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> Shh, me. Jenny I found, found something. Ooh. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Did you put it out of your ass? Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues. Yeah, and duck. I got <laughs> it. Good job. <laughs> well, damn. What the hell? What, what's that? Cool. Oh. Well. <laughs> you didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. And Lily neither. That's probably for the best. <laughs> God. 
Are we gonna open the gate? We just gonna sit there. Oh. Somebody's been watching us, probably. Somebody was over here too. And our hotel is probably next. See, I did good, huh? Yeah. You can get ambushed. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Oh man, we finna get ambushed. That X on that wall must have been like a sign for me to be like, yeah, let's break this place first. Oh, Lord, who could do that? Bandits gave us hell. They've been quiet for days now. Oop, yep. Bandits. I knew it. We didn't kill them off. Oop, what's this? I hope it ain't what I think it is. I thought it was going to be a dead body in it. Son of a bitch. It's our supplies, though. Man, so Lily was right. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? What? Don't fucking <gasps> steal from us. What we do? Who the fuck is that? Y'all better got get our people out there. Out here. It's a we bandit. Fucking around. What do we do? Oh, Lily. Shit. They're going to start kicking in doors any second. Lily. What the hell are you? Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. The only reason why I'm going out there is because Clem is out there. It's the bandits from last episode. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boots in these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Ah. Uh, what's going on? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we got us, that's why. Well, still reach the deal, we'll leave you all. We'll leave you everything. What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. The got hell? It. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up. <laughs> <all. gasps> Headshot. Oh, shit. Oh. Nice shot. <gasps> really? Okay, Carly. Oh, shit. Don't kill her. Kill him in the booty. <laughs> oh, he alive? Oh shit, here they come. We finna die, yo. We finna die. Oh, oh, where your gun at, Ben? No shit. Cover our people and get him to the RV. Here. This to the left. Can't shoot. Hello. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God, the aim. Oh my aim is horrible. Yes, finally. Got somebody. Nice. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Damn, I can't shoot. I'm surprised I didn't get shot. <laughs> Clem. Oh, shit. Gotcha. Hang on. Y'all ain't for the kill. Oh, the walkers. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, hello. Shoot. Okay. Uh, who else is left? Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> Somebody was behind the garbage can. I didn't see them. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, he died though. 
the hell? Yes, got him. Good. <gasps> okay, I gotta kill him first. Okay, <laughs> just don't make no damn sense. Why are you give me a sniper? Whatever this is, a rifle, whatever. Damn. <laughs> All right. Got him. Got him. Who else is next? Where you at? Got him. Alright, good, good, good. <sighs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> oh! Nobody bit, right? Oh, she covered in blood. Let me get in the RV. Screw her. Let her stay. Uh-uh. Come on, Lily and shit. Shoot, good shot. Uh. Hello. He got that one. Who else is in here? Alright. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh! <laughs> Who was I shooting at? Lily, last chance. Get down here. Now or never, girl. Shit. All right. You all made it, right? Oh. Damn. Oh, I'm a bad shot. Who do I ask me to shoot nothing? Sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's then. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's True. Head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Oh, whoa, whoa, Lord. whoa, you're just pointing fingers. I didn't maybe, just maybe it was her. <laughs> I've had my suspicions. Carly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Oh. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Um. That'd be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote? What? That was just your finger out, Lily. You're Carly's right. Do it just now. And maybe this was all just a mistake. We need just let to it go. look at the facts. Let's calm down. We'll eat and we'll deal with it. Let me stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know, Lily. <sighs> I know. Mm -mm -mm. Nobody was stealing anything. Was it both of you? Oh, I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just two time. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I. Shit. What's going on up there? Was it a walker or a real person? We gotta stop. Oh no. We can deal with this now then. Oh shit. Can Man. You, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. <laughs> and we just got those supplies too. Now we empty handed. Yes, yeah, a walker. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take no this. No way, somebody else. You can push else. Ben around, but you can't push me around. 
I'm not doing this. Feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. <laughs> this is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. <sighs> we don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you? Didn't you just say you want the vote? Anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Fuck. The hell you will. I'll get more food, uh, more medicine. Stop anything. panicking. Stop panicking. Seriously, V. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. I don't know. I've heard enough Being at the kind of strange. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Then you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, tell stop. Her. This is about trust, and I've never trusted you. Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I can't. This is going bad. Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. Calm down. There. I got it. Please. Let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't oh. you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Oh, shit. Girl fight. Oh, he got it. Oh, there's Clem. Now, what the fuck's the problem? <gasps> what the fuck? What the hell? Drop it. Oh, my God. Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Right in front of Clem. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. For real? She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. Get in and we'll figure out what to do with you. You're not coming with us. What are we going to do with her? You're not coming with us. Oh, hell no. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We <laughs> can't have you with us. Murderer? Lee's killed before and I uh, forgave yeah, him. Yeah, true. You've killed before, and I'll forgive you. Bullshit, you, you will. We You've do. been it planning has to, to get me done. this entire time. I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Oh, Lord. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. Really? And I was defending your ass earlier. Damn. Killed Carly, really? The hell's wrong with you? But then again, I ain't got no room to talk. I'm going to kill somebody. Damn. That sucks. Oh, look. Oh. Are we going to watch her get killed? He kind of thick. Bye, Carly. Jesus. Lee? A word, please. How's Clem? You okay? Katya needs you for something. Oh, poor child. She's traumatized. She got quiet real quick. What now? What's up? Is Doc feeling all right? You get shot? gonna turn what's the plan what's the plan we've never had a bite victim in the group before i'm going to keep an eye on him and see what i can do from a medical perspective we keep the same plan unless something changes east guys what else is there to do we thought you should know he's gonna turn important to stay honest with each other anyway if you could tell clementine we would appreciate it all right. How long does it take before somebody turns? Because if that's the case, we ain't got that much time. Oh. Doc gets bit. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel 
good. What about Carly? Is there anything to say? There's no time for a burial. Gone, but won't come back. Because she was shot in the head. That's right. Yep. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. Whew. This is getting worse. So now what? I'm glad I have you. I miss my parents. Yeah, I miss. I have you. I'm glad I have you. Me too. Mm. I heard you outside my tree house that day and thought about dropping a hammer on you. <laughs> mm, that's nice. That's nice. I didn't, though. I'm glad you didn't. Mm hmm. <sighs> Yo, Ben. Yikes. Got a Ben kid in here, too. Jesus, we are screwed. What was that? <gasps> Why? How? What? No! How? What the hell? Is she getting Ben? Oh my god, I can't do anything about it. Ah! A dream? Got something up ahead. What the hell? Don't ever do me like that again. <laughs> You're kidding. No. <laughs> oh Jesus. Roads blocked. <laughs> what? Now we gotta deal with this. At least we ain't in the van. We ain't gotta be trapped with a walker kid. We can't just walk through it. We're gonna need the RV. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Kat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Doc's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter. Be careful in there. What, Is that backpack floating? You think floating? there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned <laughs> locomotive? It is! Cross my mind. Her backpack is floating! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, so find water and look around. Okay, cool. That's one hell of a mess. So we can't just like detach the train and push the one that's not detached attached and drive through that. Doors closed. Nobody in here, right? Check. Somebody been living here. Whoa. Somebody's been living here. <laughs> yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Mmm. Is that water? Don't take this to Kent. We're done. You gonna take it? A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. How convenient. Uh, let's see here. something inside let's check it's a power cable and stuff I don't know I never been on a train nothing 
we gotta be turned on. <laughs> Alright, let's go turn this train on, see if it works. What's in here? Oh, we got weapons. Nice. Uh, can we take more? Oh. <laughs> I think we can take all of them. Like, what? Anyway. Last one? How many got to? Like, two more? Damn. Any buttons to press in here before I leave? Nothing. Alright, last one. Nothing. Alright, let's go in here and try to turn this thing on. Or should I give that kid the water? I don't know. Oh, shit, I didn't check first. Shit. Is he dead? We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. Uh. Don't want to cause any noise. This gonna hurt. <laughs> I mean, he's already dead. Told you I'll look him over. Yeah. Ooh. Take him out. Damn. Oh, he got a family of kids. Jeez. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push <laughs> it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. Hmm. Nice. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. <laughs> Found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Duck? We just figured out how to get this started. What about Duck? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead either. Okay, fair enough. Try to get this thing started. It's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Van, if you could keep an eye on the girls and Duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to make sense of these controls. Mm. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Mm. Damn. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. What's this? Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentation from the writing. Find a way to read the notepad. You got a pen? A pencil? Some? Yeah. That ain't shit, is it? I have no idea what to do with these. Alright, let's go talk to Clem. I think maybe she got a crayon or something. And give um, Katya that water before I forget. What the hell was that? Yeah, let's go check on the group. Uh, let's give the water first. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Mm, so what y'all gonna do? How's Duck? How's Duck? He did. Tired. 
Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. The body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Would you have left Lily? Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Mm. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Interesting. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. Yeah, Duck, like, I'm dying over here. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. No! I was. I'm used to it by now. We all are, aren't we? You murdered her, Lee. I was there, Kat. I'm sorry. Mm. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Is Ken all right? What is he doing? He's put his mind to figuring out the train. What about you? Same thing, sort of. I found some instructions, but I can't read them. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can help you. Let's check on Clem. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. <laughs> At least she's still smiling. How about you, Ben? I thought you were helping me. We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. You saw his mouth move like that? Anyway, let's go check the RV and see if there's any pen in there. Hopefully, then I'm not just wasting my time. Anything over here? Oh! I'll go back in. I wasn't finished. Anything of value in here. Oh, there we go. Let's get out of here. Alright, so we need to help and get this thing started. Because I have a bad feeling about this. We're going to get ambushed again. At least we ain't got to worry about bandits no more. Hopefully not. But I don't know if we're going to end up taking this train or taking the RV. Either way, I just want to get out of here because we're out in the open with no type of defense or nothing. Mm. Perfect. He can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds nice. good. Engine startup. Uh. Six, five, nine, and nine. Where's six? So down, down, up, up. Was it up, down, up? Let's see. Up, 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 down, up. Okay. So, put this down, back up, and then the last one's up. Nice. Son of a bitch. Whatever you did, lit the dash up. So far, so good. I'm going to say, that a good thing, the way he was singing. Okay, nine, where's nine? Uh, nine, hello? Oh, and five, too. What the hell are you going? Sir, go back in there. <laughs> the hell? So many options in this one small space. Now, what else? Okay, let's check those again. Okay, five. Turn one sideways and one up and down. Okay. So, 
sideways. All right. Now we're talking. Now what? Was it nine? Turn to the left and turn to the right. Where's nine? Is nine even in here? Seven, eight. I don't see nine in here. Unless it's outside. Is it in one of these? Hello? Nope, just weapons. Is it in here? Nine, turn. Uh, and all right, good job. Now let's get the hell up out of here. Shit, we're golden. Yeah, we are. This thing is loud. So what? We're barreling down the tracks at forty miles an hour. I don't care about the noise. But then she let's go. Enjoy this. Come on, let's see if she'll move. All right. It's all yours. Nice. That's the throttle. I don't know nothing about no train. Hell was that? Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. All right. Are y'all getting on the train? Cause once this get this fixed, I'm getting out of here. Was it this one? Get in, I guess. And then go out through the door. Can we unattached? I guess not. What's in here? Oh! <laughs> I saw that! <laughs> oh! Can we go out? Nope. I guess not! Yeah, we like not get up. Oh. I'm blind. Shit. Broken. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. Nice. So far, so good. Everything is going good so far. Let me not jinx myself. Anybody on board? You touch any of my stuff? Oh! Who are you? Back up. Too close. I didn't do anything. Who are you? Who are you? The guy who owns that stuff. <laughs> I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here thought about scaring the pants off me. <laughs> what? But I couldn't force myself to do it. Oh, good. Friendly. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. Ooh, we just hijacking his home? You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. 
so nice to meet someone normal for a change. Exactly. He gave us candy. Ben, too. <laughs> you look so guilty. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. You bet, Kitty. Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. Damn, that was fast. That's for Even a turn. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Oh. So what are we gonna do about that? Mm. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. Exactly. That's a yes then. Never find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Doc's sick. Get I on know. the train, Clementine. Oh! Don't talk to her like that. It's getting sicker. Let me look at him. You can't ignore this. You can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kitty. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, cat. Damn. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. All right, if he turns in his car with me and Clem, I'm shooting him. Period. We start. Yes, let's get the hell out of here. Jesus. I'm pretty sure Kenny knows that he's just in denial, which is understandable. That is his kid. But damn, if he turns. Sorry, I gotta put a bull in your head, kid. So it was taking a while for him to turn you gotta be hard on you eh? three adults taking care of three kids no disrespect son <laughs> it is there are more of us we'll be fine we'll be fine we've gone through just as much as anybody else this one's gonna grow up quick i already am oh i don't doubt it son lee please i need you oh no. hell no no What's up? You two get that off his face. <laughs> My hands are full too. Get the towel. Don't bite me now. Could you just get that off his face, please? Don't bite me. Oof. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. I should come clean. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. All right, let's go. Hopefully, convince Kenny to stop the train. But uh, he's hard headed. I doubt it. Don't fall off now. I got a weapon just in case he gets crazy, right? Stop the 
trick. Oh, um, sir? Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Well, your son's blood. Hmm. We can never walk. We get to the coast and maybe meet up with people who have this shit figured out. <sighs> he won't be. Wake the fuck up, man. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. <sighs> it's not that fucking sham you're running back there. Uh, I'm gonna need you to step back, sir, because... No, you're not. Calm down. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? I ain't trying to fight you now. About getting beat up, I guess. By talking to your friend. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. Stop the train. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Oh! Or what? Knock this shit off. Knock this shit off. So, you want to fight then? I just want to talk. I just want to talk and relax. Then talk. You can't say, if you couldn't save Sean or Duck, you think you're the reason. You think you're the reason Duck was bit? Like you had this coming or something? Duck did what yourself. You didn't kill Herschel's son. <laughs> you didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. Bad thing happened to someone else's. Please stop the there train. No way this world lets my son live. And I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. You taught Kenny to stop the train. Good, good, good. I thought I had to put hands on him. <laughs> Now here comes the real shit. Yeah, please don't let me have to kill this kid because Kenny can't do it. Please don't. Ken, it's... I think it's time. Boy's been bit. In case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if what if he doesn't? Ken, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But no. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's... Here or nothing. But fuck. Just who then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Ken. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course.
going to take care of Duck. I'm going to take care of Duck. I am? I thought he was going to die. I'm killing him. I'm going to make sure he's okay. I'm going to make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. Oh, well, she knows he's bitten, so we just have to be... I'm making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clint. Things are... <gasps> What the? No! What Please, the hell? Take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. What the fuck? Was it a walker? How did it go wrong so fast like that? They literally just walked off. <gasps> oh my god. Cat, cat, gotcha. What happened? Was it grief? Why, cat? Why? Oh, fucking god! <laughs> oh, man. oh my god! Oh my god! I, I, she she did it herself. Now Kenny has to do this? Jesus. What do we do? Um, I'll do it. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Just lost Katya. Damn it. Oh, man. I don't want to do this. Don't make me aim. Oh, no. Ugh. I'm sorry, duck. This is going wrong. <laughs> you want to talk? <laughs> you uh, understand what happened? Chuck said. What did Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did. Why did he say that? Sorry. I think you talked some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? Well, I should tell Clem that. I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. So she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? I figured out we do what's best for Clem. We find a boat. We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're going to find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it Don't were, jinx yourself. You got to prepare. 
hair of the girl. He'd sure to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Oh. She's hmm. a little girl, and she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's going to act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. He's got a point. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Well, you had it. I shot the kid, you know. Mm. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. I shot the kid, you know. Where you hit it? Where are you headed? Uh, that way? I mean when we get to Savannah. <laughs> you got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. Mm, Be safe go. up here. You betcha. Let's go help Clem. Or talk to Kenny. Yeah, let's talk to Kenny. Full of maps and documents. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? Oh! I need to get by. Yeah. Mm. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Uh, sir, can you move? Uh, about my pen? To talk to you about keeping my past from you all. Doesn't matter a lick to me. Fuck. Just gotta move forward. Alright, he's not moving. Let's go deal with Clem. Oh, and there's Duck. I mean, not Duck. I mean, Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey. Hmm. That was random. Me instead. Yeah, maybe. There aren't many of us left. Yeah, you, me, and Kenny, Clementine, the homeless dude. If he sticks around. Mm. Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope so. I hope that's true. See you. Yeah. Let's do this. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh, he explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, well, what should we do? Well, I'm gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. Um. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? <laughs> Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's 
heavy. Oh. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Aim for the head. I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. Mm. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I gotta aim for her? I hope not. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Uh. Close. Keep it steady. Aim higher? Okay, a little higher. Lower. Uh, keep it steady. Almost got it. Aim lower. Aim lower. Nice. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Go nice. Damn, how many bottles you got? Nice. I did it. Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good, just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. Let's cut the hair now. Before I forget. Is there any. uh. scissors in here? Nice. They look clean enough. <laughs> hey, Clint. Hi. Probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. <laughs> what? Are you saying it smells? No. <laughs> Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just the trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. I ain't gotta cut it myself, do I? Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mow. It's a good thing. He looks scared himself. <laughs> do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Just now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. Doesn't even matter. Mm. It looks fine to me. You're right. Before all of this, I was sent to jail, you know? Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I, I forgot what you said. These pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. She looks fine to me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, you look cute and a lot harder to grab. Is 
So what's on your walkie-talkie, though? Can I take, ooh, a drink? Maybe I give it a Kenny. And bash him over the head with it. So I can use it. that thing please do you mind if i look in there for a second i really wish you'd just leave me alone um sir please don't make me get violent you still want to get a vote it's still the best plan here it's the best plan what the hell do you want me to do i was lucky enough to get it working once I can't give him the drink. What about you? Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Where's Chuck? Do I go and tell him I did all that? He's lived here a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. I guess we're going. What's this? I hope they're not on this train much longer. Oh. Let's just go talk to Chuck and hopefully speed things along. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be before too long. Be safe up here. You betcha. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Nah. No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Damn. Mm. Somebody gotta be sober. Anybody in there wanna share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Oh yeah, I can tell Kenny. Uh Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, he's gone. <laughs> the way he just swiped. <laughs> so now what? Look at it look at it with Quinn. Oh shit. Scared the hell out of me. You good, Ben? Hey Ben. Hey. See you. <laughs> I don't know why I did yeah. that. It was me. Oh. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. Really? What? It was you. It's all my fault. Wow. Why'd you do that? What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, but... Shit. You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? See ya. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. We finna get killed, damn. 
Well, at least we ain't gotta worry about the bandits, but still, they, the reason he did all that now because Kachi and Duck are dead now. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. They don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? The team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. Look out for your parents. She's going her own way. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. We need to know if they're okay. And, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, stay positive. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What do you think? How long have they been? They always Wait. stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh, hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. Hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M. M. something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. So we'll head there. Yes. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Their parents, what? Uh, Clem, come on. That's not a good idea. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, Clemens, I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're not my dad. <laughs> Thanks. What? I guess we should see how far. Oh, shit. Hold on, everybody. Here we go. Like, what did she want to tell her parents? Like, oh, I went to this group and everybody's pretty much dying? Like, what? Should I have told them that? I don't know. Are we blocked? Yep. <laughs> you need so, to walk. It's That's always something stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing is not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. There's a crew here. This ain't shit. Who? This. Yo, if you keep screaming like that, you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Could be. Who are you? No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah. You're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. It's always me. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. Oh, well, Keenan's coming for once. Let's go. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. <laughs> I guess you'll have to find out. Let's go find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. <laughs> Wait. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. It's been a bad day. We can use some good people. We're not in for new people. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim. Then his mom took a life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! Oh? What are you doing up here? 
Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Um. Shit. What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? Oh, to me. Uh, no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? Eh. Uh. I came across honest. Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Mm. Uh. <laughs> we just met Chuck, but he seems like an all right guy. You always have to worry about new people. I used to love meeting new people. That must have been a long time ago. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. If we just unlatch it, like we did the other train? It's empty. Anything in there? We could let there be a walker in there. Look at that tape. That's about the only useful thing in here. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Uh, then what? And do we talk to them? Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? <laughs> Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Alright, let's go. What the hell, man? This is old me and Krista. Not big on welcomes. Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. Then why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Oh, all this stuff. More big shit to move. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. So what they talking about? Oh, this you playing now? I hope I ain't getting copyrighted because of that. Mm. I ain't worried. Let's just damn that airplane. Go down in here. Nope. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? Mm -hmm. I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. I bet it's gonna be a walker in there too. I bet. Survivors inside, more like dead inside. I can't pronounce that. Let's just go in. How do we get in? Hmm. It wouldn't matter now. 
you should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Um. <coughs> That's not gonna work. Won't budge. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in. Uh, let's just find a different option. Any windows I can break? Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Anything I can throw a rock? No, let's board it up. Are you sure you can do this, Clint? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Mm, what do you see? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. Oh, for real? I think so. How should you do that? Ain't the door not all the way down here? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. You didn't close the door. Wow. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Good job, Clem. What's that sound? Oh, it's the door. Damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Like what? How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Oh, okay. Oh, wonder like what the hell are we doing here? Oh, it's blood. Oh Lord. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Oh. What else is in? Let's they check. Didn't have much business back then. Let's just check the area out before we just go barging in. There are keys over there. For the gate? I hope so. Yeah, of course it's locked. Can't reach them from here. <laughs> of course. You don't see that pile of blood? Locked up good. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. So do we use Clem? Oh Lord. You I okay bad going over the top this. of this fence? Yeah, definitely. The keys are on the opposite wall. Grab him and let's get this gate open. Oh Lord, please help me get grab it. the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. What? Behind you! What? What the hell? <gasps> oh! Why didn't she say anything? Push the left stick. Oh God! Get it! Get it! Oh, oh, shit! What the heck? <gasps> oh, 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 right in front of Clem. <laughs> Damn. Oh, God. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. That's embarrassing. Ow. Come on, scoot. Behind you. We ain't got no more ammo? Oh, we dropped the gun. Oh, yeah. Get the screwdriver. Whatever that thing is. <gasps> I can't defend myself? Oh, okay, there we go. Good, good, good. Ah! 
Ooh. Nice. I got eight up last time. Did she get scared? It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Why are they coming out now? now? Get the keys, keys. Unlock. What the hell? It's still locked. Okay, come on. Now. Shoot. <laughs> Sometimes this stuff be delayed a little bit. God damn. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. Hopefully. Everything's okay. A lot of epic fails in this. <laughs> What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight year old versus three of them, huh? Uh, yeah. We handled it. We handled it. Yeah. It looks like. What if you hadn't? Uh, ma'am. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Why is everybody always doing it? We're still alive, aren't we? For now. Yeah, you are. There's always somebody testing me and questioning my. Uh. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learn not to be afraid. We learn something. Is, everything is dangerous. Uh, no. We just have to learn to pull the trigger. It's so hard. Don't think. Just do it. Live with what happens. I'll try. Let's go. Jesus. As long as our gun don't run out of ammo, I think we're good. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. <laughs> Let's light this thing up so we get the hell up out of here. Holes as I leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. With what? Oh, yeah, the tape from earlier? Whatever that is. Hope that's all. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Ooh. Thanks. No sweat, man. Nice. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. All right, just be careful. Can't reach it now. Uh. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. Oh. The hell you are. <laughs> too bad. You're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Oh. Shut up and start cutting. <laughs> <gasps> Damn! Hurry up! Guys! Wow. There's something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We Hurry gotta up. go! Fuck! Omi! Cut! Cut! 
Jesus. Pull him up. Need to break the ladder. Kitty, go. <gasps> Shit. What the hell do we do now? On the opposite side. We gotta jump. What? No way. Jump, boy. We ain't got time for you to be all scared and shit. Uh, jump. Jump. No. Jump, damn it. Still no. Uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> now, now or never, man. Ah. <gasps> Shit. Is he dead? Oh no, he's injured. Run. Damn. Uh, get on me. He's injured. No, her, not me. Krista, no! Oh, Lord! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? She's right there! Uh. Jesus. It's okay, honey. I'm okay. Uh. Oh, Lord. This one says, say, jump. You're supposed to jump. Damn. At least we made it, made it a lot. Those aren't moving back there. That was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. <sighs> My leg is fucked. Did you want to get left behind? We're fine. But next time somebody say jump, jump. But at least we're alive. Everybody's alive. Hopefully. Do a picture of them. Next stop, the Atlantic. Hmm. We find in Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talk it through. It'd be all right. Just gotten too bad. It's gotten too bad, you know. You, me, nobody can take all this. But we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back up fighting over the motel. <sighs> me too. I'll leave you to your thoughts. Leaves out cold like I've never seen. Oh. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. We went into a trap. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, oh my y'all might want to rethink your plan. Who you been talking to? I knew she was talking on the walkie-talkie earlier, but I didn't know who she was talking to. We head straight into danger. Literally. Oh, that's it. Oh shit. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? Oh, Lord. Well, I promised that we'd find your parents. Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. 
If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. Oh. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? Exactly. You Who was that? Here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. Around every corner. Oh shit. All right, we got stats. Sweet, merciful death. Did you kill the girl in the street? 59% of you did not shoot her. Interesting. Left behind. 42? Left her? You saw the rest of y'all brought her with y'all? Hmm. Did you fight Kenny? We didn't. They talked him down. Nice. Good. I didn't want to put my, put my hands on him, but if I had to, I had to. Did you shoot Duck? 79% of you shot him. So y'all were just cold-blooded and let Kenny kill his own kid? After he just witnessed his wife shot herself in the head? Did you help Omid? 55% of you helped Omid. Well, his name is so funny to me. I don't know. Oh, Lord. Walking Dead, long road ahead. Oh, God. This was a real serious episode. There weren't that many joke stuff I could make, but it was just it was just too deep, you know? Oh, not like that, but... It's really sad and unfortunate that we had to put not only Duck down, but Kidney had to see his wife die and stuff. That was, that was really sad. And then the way Carly went out, too. Just, uh, I don't know. What the hell about Lily? But I, I can understand a little bit as to why Lily felt the way that she did. I mean, she only had her dad. And her dad, like, literally died right in front of her. And she tried to hold on to hope that he was going to survive, which I can totally understand. But the way she went about all this stuff. I mean, clearly she was right about the whole bandit stealing our stuff. So I can understand why she felt that way and wanted to get, you know, justice. Because... Because of them, Duck and Katra are dead. And then not to mention, we found out that it was actually Ben giving her, giving them supplies, which got them killed. I bet there's going to be a problem in the next two episodes. But I know this episode wasn't as, like, full of energy. Because I ain't going to lie, I'm a little tired. <laughs> I didn't get that much sleep last night. And like I said, this was, like, a really serious episode. It was sad. A lot of child death. I ain't never had to play a game where... I had to kill a kid. It was all new to me, but it seems like Clem and Lee are getting closer together, and there's somebody talking to her on the walkie-talkie. And I feel like we're going to get we're going to get set up. <laughs> I just know it. We're going to get set up, and it just further proves that being in big groups is just not a good idea. I mean, now we got some injured dude named Omid. I, I don't know. I mean, I just hope they don't drag us down. I don't hope we don't drag them down. I just hope I don't drag Clem down, but. That's all we got for this video, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll put my social media links down, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye.